A spike in shootings has left teenagers and young people injured and neighbors terrified in Chester. The shootings began in early April along Simrel Street and then continued over the past week on Jeter Street, Hemphill Avenue and Collins Street just two nights ago. Now, South Carolina Bureau reporter Greg Suskin found a tense community when he started talking to people about this today. And Greg, we know the police chief there very quickly organized community meetings about the rash of shootings. So, and we know he's hearing a lot of concerns there. Yeah, he certainly is. When I talked to the police chief today, he did not try to sugarcoat this at all. He said simply, people here are afraid. And the first one of these meetings he hopes to have with the public will be right here at this church tomorrow night on Center Street. But one of those shootings was on Simrel Street, only about 100 yards that way. What look like typical neighborhood streets in Chester have had their sense of safety broken by gunfire. Neighbors here aren't just hearing about the violence, they're living with it. I happen to be in the midst right around the corner from two of the last shootings. I knew one of the young men who was shot. He would come to my house with my son. Over the last six weeks, gun violence on Simrel, Jeter, Hemphill, and Collins Streets, each seen within a mile of the others. Chester's police chief didn't hold back, talking about a sense of alarm. When the citizens are afraid, then that's when we need to actually step in and let them know and reassure them what we are doing. Police and town leaders will start here tomorrow night, holding the first of four meetings to try and calm fears. They're posting these flyers around town. Tabitha Strother has heard some of that fear as bullets hit houses and impact lives. When you hear older people say, I don't know whether to sleep in my bed or sleep on the floor. Police have pushed the need for the community's help, saying they can't solve these cases without it. Larry Hill went even further, calling out families who hide shooting suspects. The parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts that are shielding this, shielding this wrongdoing, knowing what's going on in their, in their household. Yeah, and so far, police have not made arrests in any of these four shootings. They tell me that they're close, but they're still asking for and hoping for cooperation from this community. Scott.